Hello Aquarius, how are you? It is me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. The camera's a little different. I'm moving things around. Everything's moving, Aquarius. Um, today, we have used the Oracle of Mystical Moments deck for your read today. Very nice, very nice, Aquarius. You have an interesting little spread here, so let's get into prayer before we do anything else. Father God, thank you for bringing me and Aquarius here today. I ask that you give me clarity and wisdom to help guide them. I ask that you bless these messages and you cover these cards to bring forth guidance in their highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you and we thank you always. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, Aquarius. So, the first two cards that you have out are what? Card number 26, transformation. The next card you have out is card number 44, master number of empowerment, no less. Stranded. So, if you look behind this transformation card, do you see how gray it is? How dark, almost like dying palms. Dying palms. I'm hearing psalms now, like from the Bible. And see how the background here almost matches how it is? It's like the same tone. The tone is the same. I'm also hearing tone depth. You may be in an environment, Aquarius, where it seems like um, there isn't a lot of color. Everything seems a little gray. Everything seems a little dull. Maybe the people around you are a little tone deaf, not very sensitive to perhaps your needs, but also sensitive to each other, it feels like as well. It's almost like a, like a black cloud over the environment, yes? But despite that, you see that? Despite that, you are transforming like a lily, kind of growing through mud, that despite the challenges in your environment, despite how gray it is or how tone deaf the people around you are, you are still growing. You are still transforming. You have color. You have light. You have um, a, a gentleness and a sweetness to your spirit that is really the shining light in whatever situation you are on. It's almost as though you're not stranded. It's almost like everyone else is a little bit stranded in this energy. But meanwhile, you're on a different world. You're in a different land. And it's almost like this little anchor going down here. It actually looks a lot like uh, this tattoo I have on my ankle, which is interesting. Um, just a side note just for someone, I don't know why. Um, it almost feels like Rapunzel, like Rapunzel letting her hair down right for, for which to like climb down or have someone climb up to sort of get her it's really very interesting how despite the the grayness the dullness do you know it's so interesting i just noticed she she has like a hair net she has a hair net do you see i don't know if you can see that there's like a hair net on her hair so you might actually work in like a like some kind of food industry and like a bar and a restaurant you might be like a nurse someone that has to have like their hair back their hair netted or something in that. But despite that, you are blooming and you're blossoming. Next out, you have Flower Spirit. Now this is, again, it's a very sweet, sweet card, almost as though uh, you've taken the flowers here and turned them into your dress, your dress. Um, and this card's about being nurturing. This card is about um, nurturing yourself, nurturing others. It's about being very gentle. It's like my Archangel Muriel card, right? Um, it's about being gentle with others, um, and really leaning on people who are gentle with you as well. Really leaning on people that you know are going to be sweet to you and that aren't going to be tone deaf to your needs and to your feelings, right? And then you have card number 50 out, the observer, the observer. And if you notice, again, it's almost like a little bit of like this gray back here. It's almost like a sunset energy as the moon is coming up and you're observing. You're observing the people in your environment, Aquarius. You're observing um, almost like the cause and effect of how the way that they act, the way that they treat one another, even the way they treat you, just um, the general energy of the environment or the people in it that they're admitting, how it contributes to the gray, to the, to, the, to the lack of energy, the lack of beauty, the lack of harmony, the lack of gentleness, right? The lack of consideration all around. You are observing this. And as you do that, you see, it's almost like little dandelions kind of coming off the top of your head, off of your crown chakra. And what do you do with a dandelion? You blow on it and you make a wish, right? So again, it's like as you're stuck in this environment, you're still shining, you're still blooming, you're still being nurturing, not let anyone steal your sweetness. That this I have this little this little mug right here because I decided I needed a little a little cocoa before I started this. And it's a unicorn because it's one, the only clean cup that I could find in my cupboard. Um, but normally I use the the animal deck for your spreads, and you always get the unicorn card out. And the unicorn's about 
being an individual. It's also about being very intuitive and kind of um, in a very black and white world, being able to like use your antenna up to God, up to source in order to find like um, the highest and best goods. Very uh, Aquarians are very all for one and one for all. And it says on the smug here, it says, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. And that's what you've been doing. You've been not, despite everything that you're observing, you're not letting anyone steal your sparkle. And as you observe it, it's really as though um, with these little dandelions, it's like you're making wish, it's like wishful thinking. It's like your thoughts are still very pretty. Your thoughts are still very much guided towards what you do want as opposed to focusing on what you don't. And part of this observing energy for you feels a little bit like research, like seeing like what you don't want and like the, the kind of environment, the kind of friendships, the kind of coworkers, whatever it may be moving forward in your future that you don't want to be a part of, that you don't want to participate in, the kind of gray energy that like you don't want to sit in. Mmm, cocoa. And again, like chocolate. Chocolate's very sweet, right? It's, um, there's a lot of, a uh, chaos and there's like a lot happening in my vedic chart i'm aquarius there's a lot like happening in my house i know a lot of you know that like i've been moving i've been moving well it's starting to happen so people have been coming in taking things off the walls it's been a whole thing and i was just like mm, i just want something sweet like i don't want to let it bother me i just want something sweet like i'm just gonna have some cocoa and cocoa is very like romantic it's an aphrodisiac it's sweet you know and you're just like mm, i'm just gonna have my sweet little moment right here you might actually do that you might be like hiding in like a corner at work or a corner of your house or like in your little hair net. You're just like, I'm just gonna have this cup of tea and just think happy thoughts for a minute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's something in that. Now another master number, 22. Like a bird and the perfect key. Card number 29, yeah, 29. Which, oh, which 29 is what? That's 11. So two, two, 11. That might be an angel number for you. So like a bird, this is you kind of holding on to your truth and also being able to express yourself in this environment in a really graceful way, really kind of being the perfect key. Like I said, it feels like you're like the only lantern in this place. Like you're the you're the kind of person that you go into this job, you go into this community, this social group, this house, and everybody, it's like the mood changes when you get there. It's like you're the one that lifts everyone up. You're like the only dose of positivity that that place is really getting right now. Like the only ray of sunshine. You are that place's perfect key right? It's almost like this bird goes over here because you have all of the keys. You have the ability to observe other people and see what they need, right? To see if they need a little bit of extra kindness, if they need a little bit of extra help, if they need a little of this, if they need a little of that. It really is very nice. And it's also the ability to, to look at yourself as though you have many, many keys, right? Many, many keys. Almost like a, the master key. You have the master key, Aquarius. Now we move down to card number one day and night. Now this card, the meaning behind this card is that you have the ability to pick. Would you want to be on the bright side of life? Do you want to get on the right off on the right side of the bed? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to look towards positive things? Is that where you want to focus your energy? Or do you want to focus your energy on the moon? Do you want to focus your energy on the negative things, on the dark things, on the things that you can't see, the hidden agendas, the this, the that. And the fact that she has the, her son in her hand is saying that you're choosing, like I said, you're learning what to do, what not to do, what you don't want to participate in, um, moving forward in your future, how you don't think things should really be done because they don't sit well with your spirit. This is you choosing things that do sit well in your spirit, which is not allowing anyone to dull your sparkle not letting harsh situations turn you hard and cold and callous and then you have this house of flowers card coming out next which again it's all about this blossoming this blooming that you're doing with this transformation card up here that despite how it's like this house is trying to like crush squash these flowers it's like it's trying to get them in be smaller be less beautiful fit in this little box and you're like no i'm aquarius i'm a unicorn i'm not gonna fit in this box i'm not gonna let you steal my flowers i'm not gonna let you steal my sweetness i'm gonna bloom in this mud i'm gonna bloom in this job i'm gonna bloom in this neighborhood you can't stop me because my spirit is too big my my beauty is too big for that and in that there are witnesses to this there are people that are kind of watching all of this happen, going a little bit like, how does Aquarius stay so positive? How is Aquarius really looking on the bright side? The situation doesn't look super sunny. How, how are they doing that? How are they doing that? And the fact of the matter is, 
is that card number 15 elixir of life you know how to stop and smell the roses now you know how to take pleasure in just the simple little things even if there's a, a whirlwind going on around you you know how to just enjoy that like cup of tea in the middle of the day and just like that five seconds of solace or like that cup of cocoa or just look be like well you know maybe that person's just having a bad day instead of going down the wormhole and being like they're a terrible person like well maybe they're having a bad day it's that spirit of empathy and sympathy and consideration not being tone deaf to your environment right seeing what others cannot and taking pleasure in in this tiny little wins the tiny little triumphs of life it's beautiful and in that with the wind kind of blowing through your air that's sort of god working through you that's motion that that's energetic movement happening because as within so without so when you can keep sort of a, a bright and positive spirit even when it's hard um god reflects that back to you right with his light with his kindness with his goodness and then you have a change of seasons card number 42 42 breaks down to a six six is an equal give and take right an energy exchange that as like I said, you see, it's like, it's almost like it's snowy. It's cold. It almost looks like it's snowing, all of these like white flowers, but she's transforming kind of like you're doing here and very much like you're doing here. And I'm also pulling in some inner child stuff. Like you're not letting anyone sort of like squash your inner child either, meaning that you still have the ability to have fun. That's part of this elixir life too, that you, you really are in an energy right now where you're making the best out of any situation you possibly can which is really really gorgeous it's like really letting your inner child live which is gorgeous um because your inner child also holds all of that full energy right all of that faith that pure leap of faith energy and in that god's bringing you in a change of seasons he's kind of thawing out your environment for you almost to like get you unstuck get you unstuck because it seems as though you're not necessarily holding on to this stranded energy but it seems like the stranded energy is trying to hold on to you whether it be your boss or your job or relationship again your social circle that you're the you're like the you're the lamp you're the bright thing you're the bright spot of life and so um i don't want to say energy vampirism but it's almost like well we have to keep aquarius around because like they're so happy and they're so positive and it's like they're the good juju in the place they're the good juju in the place right um, so you haven't been holding on to them so much, but they've energetically been holding on to you. But with this thawing out, it's allowing your feet to move. It's allowing your wings to kind of break free a little bit. And then again, with the dandelions, God is see, and look, this person is like part of the little dandelions, like up here, all of that wishful thinking, all of that positive intention that you've been doing, that good attitude, that good egg, that good egg kind of business that we like. God's taking that and not only is he changing your seasons he's also changing your directions as well and I like that the it's almost looks like um a hot air balloon but the basket is a hat see how it's like a little top hat it's almost like caps off to you Aquarius good job Cap, caps off to you like it's been hard but like you did a good job job well done Aquarius and now God's taking you in a new direction perhaps a direction that you didn't anticipate being able to take as quickly could be a situation where you've been just been trying to stick out the situation making the best of it right um thinking you had to kind of bide your time a little bit more but it seems like it's coming in a little bit quicker for you which is I love it. I love it. And then the next card you have out is another master number, three master numbers, 11. This could be your life path number, queen B, the queen B. And this is you at the top of the hive, climbing the, uh, the upper echelon, right? Climbing that spiritual ladder with the, with the yellow and with that white, the white is talking about like the purity of your heart, the purity of your actions, the purity of your intentions and all the yellow. It's like honey, right? All of this sweetness, the positive self-esteem, the positive confidence, the good vibes that you've been setting out there. And in that, what does the queen mean too? She kind of, um, she operates the hive, right? If, uh, if you've ever seen um, like a beehive, when the queen bee goes missing, they go nuts. They go absolutely nuts. And if you like introduce a new queen into a hive where you took out an old queen, those bees will like attack the new queen. Bees get very attached to their queen. And sort of this is you a little bit. It's almost as though um, as God is trying to take you in a new direction um, because of all of this really beautiful like intention and positivity you've been outputting. He's really bringing in now the purpose that he has made for you in this life. And um, there is something about like the bees getting mad that um, 
as perhaps you are separated from this job, from this group, whatever it may be, that the other bees are gonna get really confused. It's almost like I see them like buzzing into each other because they don't know what to do. They don't know who to follow anymore. They don't know who to follow. Again, it's like you're the only good juju in the place. So now it's like, they might just be stuck with all like the gray clouds, you know what I mean? Just kind of bouncing off each other, kind of admitting that. But you have other places to be. And so you go into five, number of change. You go into bloom right here and I almost see like your arms crossed and you're like no I'm not staying no I have to go like no I'm sorry like I can't I can't be here anymore like no I'm sorry I, I can't work here anymore it's almost like insisting on allowing this growth to happen for yourself even if it might shake up other people be like you know what the seasons are changing for me things are growing for me I'm not going to apologize for it almost like the sense that perhaps people might get a little annoyed like why Aquarius not me sort of thing forgetting that God has blessings for everyone um but you have to be like I don't know what's going on over there with you guys but I gotta go I gotta go I have to bloom I have a future ahead of me God wants to take me in a new direction he's unthawing my feet I did the best that I could here. I passed the torch to you. I have to go. I have to go because for you, there is no rain today. Was this 37? Card number 37, three and seven that breaks down to a 10. That's completion. Your work in this place is complete. The, the purpose that you meant to fulfill in this season, in this cycle, it is complete now. Now you're on to the next. You're on to bigger, better, brighter things new directions that a little bit closer to the purpose that God has for you. He wants to promote you. He wants to put you in a different position. So that way you can take all of that really good work that you did over there and apply it to something that's even better and something that's going to be better for you. That way there won't be any rain. It won't be like you being the only bright light in the place, but you'll also have other people's brightness and sweetness and nurturing be reflected back on you as well remember those sixes that equal energy exchange and there's fives all over the place which indicates all of this change and there's master numbers all over the place meaning that like you really have mastered this lesson in 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 blooming in tough situations and now it's like god's expanding your territory so you could have a bigger impact on people because with 43 it's like you have the secret now and again remember what we were saying where is the card Right here it's like you have the key you have the master keys now it's like your set of keys are bigger that it's like you know the secrets now you can you can unlock bigger opportunities for yourself that's the secret is that you can do better and you can do bigger and bolder and more beautiful and god's giving you the a bigger set of master keys like the skeleton key to open and unlock every door it's an open heaven kind of world for you right now aquarius you got to take the money and run and then you got 18 treasured memories right and again this is you not leaving in poor spirits this is you leaving in happy and sweet spirits but knowing that god has given you a master key to move you in a new direction and do something new do something that is really going to fulfill you and make you happy emotionally and a place and a purpose that is going to allow you to make new treasured memories right new treasured memories for yourself and what i love is her outfit it's like the top of it almost looks like zebra stripes right and we always say that like a unicorn is sort of like a zebra like in a black and white world but it's like her skirt is like real real funky and then she's got like these flowers in her hair again it's about your uniqueness moving into a place where you're going to create new beautiful memories where people are going to appreciate how unique you are they're not going to like giggle at you or like turn their nose up at you like they're going to appreciate your 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 quirks and your isms and how sweet you are and they're going to see that as a strength of yours and not a vulnerability and that's really amazing so don't feel bad because there's an energy of you like feeling bad, like wanting to do the hero thing, like survivor's guilt, and you want to like take everyone with you, but you can't. You just got to go. You just got to go like a dandelion into the wind where God takes you and he's got plans for everyone. Everyone has a purpose in God's world. No one falls through the cracks for God, right? So, and he's got blessings to spare. He's got blessings for everyone and he loves to spoil his children. So you just focus on yourself. You keep shining your light. You go where God tells you to go. Don't drag them with you. Just go if they'll they'll catch up if they're meant to Aquarius don't do the survivor's guilt thing promise okay promise I just wanted to hear you say promise to me so Aquarius this is your reading I hope that you enjoyed it I hope you found it helpful if you're interested in the added content that is on the patreon that is linked in the description box along with my email for personal readings if you'd like one of those all of my social media links my Instagram and my Twitter I do much more Instagram than Twitter um, and all the decks that I use in case you want to get them for yourself. This was the Oracle of Mystical Moments deck. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite decks. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And until I see you next time, Aquarius, stay prayed up, stay blessed.
Stay moving. I'll see you later. Goodbye.